Howdy, Beefalo Bar here, and sorry if you watched the other videos and I've deleted them already, but these are just condensed versions of what I did earlier. Alright, so in this particular video, I want to talk about um, weapons for the division, what they got right, what they got wrong, what's missing, what do we need, what do we don't need. We're going to ignore the fact that I went on to a tangent earlier about um, the fact that this is New York City and New York State is actually a anti-gun state and 99 or 90% of the guns that are in this game you wouldn't find in New York at all. Um, so we're going to ignore that factor. So moving on to the fact that it's a fun game and cool and good diverse selection of firearms. Um, there are some guns that should be in the game that are not. And there's one particular weapon that's in the game, actually two that I wanted to quickly cover, and that's melee weapons. We definitely need melee in this game. Um, as I discussed earlier in other videos, a tactical tomahawk, combat knife, um, exotic melee weapons will be like a ninja weapon, ninja sword, uh, ninja style dagger. Uh, not necessarily into any kind of throwing weapons, but just a regular melee tactical tomahawk, combat knife, um, machete, sword, um, fire axe, those, we need them. Just go ahead and do it. Get it over with. Second would be the M32 grenade launcher that's used by LMB uh, troops that are around the city. If they can have a grenade launcher, why can't we? Limit the round count to, say, if it's a five-shot version, then give us ten rounds, ten grenades. Or let us use our current grenades that we have already, incendiaries, the tear gas grenades, flashbangs, the regular concussion, whatever. Let us have this selection of our grenades that we have right now. Just let those be ammo for our grenade launcher and let us use those. Simple enough. Alright, let's move on from there. Okay. I am not a fan of what I'm getting ready to suggest. But, um, there's one particular firearm in general, and one particular family of firearms that I have no clue why are not in, why it's not in this game, and that would be the Glock family of firearms. Um, if we only had to select one, I would say give us the Glock 19. Um... However, since we don't get a selection of ammo style, we have something like, um, right now, one gun in the game, the Steyr Aug, is actually a 9mm. 80% or more of the Steyr Augs that were produced ever were in 5.56 and not 9mm. Um, in fact, I've only handled a very small amount of 9mm versions, and I've seen and handled a lot more of the 5.56 versions than I have the 9mm. So, for sure, um, you know, since we can't select our ammunition type for our basic weapons, at least a bring us in the, uh, the Glock pistol and a Glock 19 size and a Glock 17 size. We can let the, the Glock 17 size, size be actually the Glock Model 22, which was 40 caliber used by 60% or more of the police departments in this country. There is no excuse not to have that firearm in this game. Same with the Glock 19. Civilian or average Americans all around this country, there are more people who own Glock 19s than just about any other firearm on the planet. There's a million of them probably in this country. There's no reason not to have the Glock 19 and the Glock Model 22 in this game. I don't like locks, but a lot of people do. Another one, the SIG P320. A variation of the SIG P320 is currently being issued out and used by the U.S. military now. So, we need it in the game. It's a cool pistol. I love it. I'm probably going to pick up one soon. I, I, I think we just need to have that in the game. Um, back on the Styrog thing, we need the 556 Styrog. We need the IMI Tavor in both 5.56 and 9mm. Both of them are great. The 9mm version uses uh, the Colt style magazines. The 
the conventional 556 version uses AR Max. Um, sadly, the Styrog 556 doesn't use an AR Mag, and it should. Damn it. Um, don't ask me. It's a long subject. Um, we have the M44 version of the Mosin Nagant. There was far less of those ever produced than the standard 9130 variation. So if we're going to have the Mosin Nagant platform, we need to have the 9130 variation. They're a lot more common in this country than the M44 versions. If you want to make the model for it, essentially remove the bayonet and stretch the barrel out to 27 inches. So just take that, that, that in, cut off the bayonet, and slide the model forward a little bit, and there you go. You've made the 9130. It's the only difference. Okay, moving on. Um, we have the LVO AC. It's not a LOVA or whatever the hell you nerds are calling it. It's an LVO AC. Okay. We have the lightweight M4, and we have the police M4. Okay, fine. Those are great. Um, but we're missing out on one major type of AR platform in the 556 category, and that would be the uh, Mark 12 SPR, a accurized version, which would have either an 18 or 20 inch barrel and is set up for precision shooting. We need a marksman variation of the AR, AR platform in semi automatic only, no full auto. All right, on that same regard, we definitely need the SR-25 as well, or a similar version of, um, you can go with, um, you know, that definitely needs to be in the game. And it is a marksman variation of the 308 caliber version of the AR-15 or the AR-10 platform. We, we definitely need that in the game because there's a bunch of them floating around the country. They're great platforms. They're based off the AR platform. They're reliable for the most part, and they're accurate for the most part. So they're good platforms. We need it in the game. Make it happen. Um, not that hard to model them because they look just like a regular AR-15 with very minor differences. Um, on that, for marksman rifles, um, we've got the Remington 700 in three different versions. We definitely need the Ruger Precision Rifle. If you're going to have a very common, very popular precision rifle or tactical rifle, then the Ruger Precision, it's a bust have. You know, really and truly, it's just one of those things we need to have. Um, I'm going to keep getting interrupted by this same patrol over and over again. Um, other precision rifles, um, I would have to say probably since I'm a fan of them, I own quite a few, and it would probably be a Savage based bolt action rifle. Not 100% necessary, but I think would be a, a nice to see. Maybe one or two other precision bolt guns, but I wouldn't get carried away on the bolt guns. We do have the 700, and that. It, for the most part, is good enough. A lot of precision bolt-action rifles are actually based off of the Remington 700 platform. Um, moving on from there. Um, handguns. We've got a pretty good selection overall. I could care less if we lost a Breda 93R, which is a cool gun. I'm using one right now. Um... But we definitely got to have more of the SIG platform. Um, the six hour guns are great. We need the 226, we need the P320, um, and other firearms from them. We definitely need the, um, the MPX and MCX. Um, those are a must have. Uh, you've got some of it actually in Ghost Recon, so why don't we have it here? Um, gonna move on to, instead I mentioned the 226. Great platform, but let's look at other firearms, other manufacturers. STI 2011. It's a double stack version of the 1911. 
and I'm sorry as much as I love the 1911s and the 2011s and all we need to developers of the division you really need to fix the magazine thing and what I mean by that is no more 100%, 120%, 70%, whatever. Let's just have normalized magazine counts. M249 saw has 200 rounds. The M60 has 100 rounds. The AR-15s or the M16s, the M4s or whatever, standard 30-round magazine with some variations that you'll have in the M16 platform. What we need for the game versus reality-wise, what we need for the game is just a standard 30-round magazine. We need we can take the um, Surefire 60 round magazine or the Magpul D60 and we need a Beta C Mag which is a, or the Beta Mag which is a 100 round draw magazine those are the main three magazines we need the a standard Magpul 30 round mag Magpul D60 and a, a Beta drum those are the only three mags we need for the AR platform guns um, for the 1911s Seven, okay, you stretch it to eight. If you're going to stretch it, there's some aftermarket magazines that are 10-rounders. But since it's going to stay non-caliber specific, it's going to be a 45 ACP. Let's leave it at eight rounds for the ma major capacity of the 1911, any 1911 platform. Um, I know it's going to take a little bit more effort to actually change the magazine system over but I'd rather see it realistic. It'll change the PvP combat a little bit because people are running these big, huge magazines or what have you. Let's go with a realistic magazine system. Okay, moving on from that. Um, I've already mentioned the grenade launchers before. You've already got the M32 grenade launcher in the game used by the LMB. Um, we got to have it. We really do. I can't say that enough. Like I said, preferably, like I was just mentioning earlier, let us use our standard grenade loadout in the M32, but give us a better way than a mouse wheel or hitting G to bring up a wheel and moving your mouse to a different position. Give us a better way of selecting our, our magazines. As PC players, we don't normally use some... PS360, whatever the hell, console freaking controllers. Majority of PC players, we use a keyboard and a mouse, give us a better hotkey for our, our grenades. Whether it's toggling, hit the number four key to select your grenades, why not be able to hit number four key and have an icon on our HUD to show, which already shows what grenade we have selected, but by hitting the number four key repeatedly, let us be able to cycle through our grenades. Same thing if we're going to have the M32 grenade launcher or a variation of an M79 or whatever or a single shot grenade launcher will allow us to cycle through our, our ammo types. Okay, moving on. We've covered and let's go ahead and round up this video. That's a good selection of things that we definitely need. Like I said, the, the double stack 2011s, um, realistic magazine count for the weapons, uh, the SIG product line, the 226, the P320. Um, we definitely need to have, and, I, and I'll keep saying it forever and ever and ever, we need melee and we need grenade launchers. They're already in the game, just need to make them work for us. Um, Glocks, we definitely need two different Glocks, the Glock 19 and the Glock 22. You can adjust the power to, to match the, the fact that the the larger one, the 22, is actually a 40 caliber, and the 19 is a 9 millimeter. All right. If you guys have any more suggestions, and I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you guys have any more suggestions of guns you would like to see in the division, please post them in your, in my comments section here. If you like some of the ones that I mentioned, make comments on that. If you don't like some of the ones that I mentioned, make comments on that. I need comments, people. Please leave comments, preferably polite ones and, you know, positive feedback-wise. Um, give me a thumbs up. 
if you thought it was stupid to make a suggestion and say, oh, well, we don't need any more guns, or, you know, we have too many guns now, or whatever. If you don't like the video, then give me a thumbs down. But I prefer that you give me a thumbs up. I definitely would like for you to make a comment, and I definitely want you to subscribe. Doing all those things will help me out greatly and allow me to expand my channel. Um, currently, having less than a thousand subscribers, I'm at a major disadvantage, and... I really, really need to, to break that thousand threshold. So I break that thousand threshold, I'm not going to be able to make any currency or any money from YouTube, and this is all just a hobby for now. So help me grow this YouTube channel into an actual business, so I can actually stay at home, make videos, and be cool, and be awesome. All right? All right. Thanks. Um, so thumbs up, thumbs down, comments, and subscribe. And I really appreciate you watching the videos. And we'll see you in the next one.